Well, good afternoon. I was out here about to fall asleep. Didn't get much sleep last night because I sat up and watched a pastor, a friend of mine. He doesn't know me. I feel like I know him. But I post a lot of his sermons on my Facebook page and I just think that he's just a marvelous, caring pastor, has the heart of being a caring pastor. You know, he all the time remembers the state of his life before he got saved. And I guess it's easy to look at the state of your life from the past perspective. There's a verse here that is in the book of Titus, chapter 3. Paul was writing to Titus here. He reminds him of something in verse number 3. It says... For we ourselves also were sometimes foolish. You know, I never considered myself to be foolish. I made a lot of foolish mistakes. I made a lot of foolish decisions. Uh, a lot of times, foolish decisions cost me finances. It cost me money. But he was telling Titus here, for we ourselves were sometimes foolish. You know, a foolish person is a person that don't think of the ramification of later what if and then he uses the word disobedient the preacher friend of mine talks about being disobedient and you know I want to think that it's easy to look back and see where our lives wasn't all that pleasing to the Lord. It wasn't all that honoring to the Lord. It also says here, deceived. I remember looking up that word before, but I can't remember what the actual definition was. Deceived is a lot like being tricked. Maybe you've been tricked into believing something. See, he says here in verse 3, For we ourselves were sometimes foolish. See, Paul was including himself into him being foolish. And he was speaking to Titus here, and no doubt Titus probably felt like that he had done some things that were foolish. And then he uses the word disobedient. It's where you don't obey. But you know what? If you don't have God, you can't obey. You know, when Saul was Saul before he turned into Paul, he couldn't obey the ways of God because he didn't know God. I think of things in my life that, you know, there was times I didn't know God. There was a time in my life that I was unsure about God. You know, to say that I was disobedient, I guess in a way I was because I didn't know any better. Deceived. You know, 
I guess there was times that I was deceived. I didn't take the gospel serious early in my life. Serving divers' lusts. That word divers means many. Many lusts. You know, lust is not always sexual. Some people, when they see the word lust, they just automatically think of infidelity, sexual infidelity. Not necessarily. You can be lustful for anything. Some people lust for money. Some people lust for fame and fortune. Some people want to lust for a higher paying job. You notice that it said serving divers lust. You know, when you serve something, it would be like taking a plate of food and serving someone. You bring that plate of food, you set it in front of them, you give them their silverware, you bring them the paper towel, you bring them something to drink, and you serve that person, and you hope that that person enjoys what you're serving them. Paul said here, I remember when I remember whenever I I served these lusts. And you notice that it says, and pleasures. See, sometimes lust can be pleasure. We just don't see the... We don't see the, the payment. We don't see the payment that we'll end up having to make because of the serving divers lust and pleasures living in malice malice is like wrongdoing knowingly wrongdoing some people maybe would call it malicious and then it says envy you know have I envied someone? I guess maybe I could have. It's real easy to envy someone when you when you want their money and you want their possessions and you want their fame and fortune. That's what envy is. Paul said here, for we ourselves also were sometimes foolish. He included himself in that. hateful you know I don't know that I've ever been hateful but there are some people that I have to wonder but you notice what it says right there hateful and hating one another you know I'm thankful that I can read in the Bible where Saul was on that road to Damascus and he met up with the Lord. And even though he was deceived and he was foolish and he was disobedient and he was serving divers' lust, you know what his lust was? Getting rid of the Christian. That was his lust, was trying to put away the Christian. Living in malice, living in envy, serving divers' lust and pleasures. You know, it was a sort of a pleasure for Saul to walk along and chain up a Christian and bring him into jail. He had a reputation. His reputation was to get rid of people that claimed the name of Christ. And he didn't believe that these people had the name of Christ. You've got to remember, this man, Saul, was religious. Oh, was he religious. 
But you know what? Just because you're religious don't make you have a relationship with the Lord. You know, he was envious of these people that named the name of Christ. But you notice that it says hateful and hating one another. This man, Saul, hated people. But you know, that hate turned into love when the Lord got his attention on that Damascus road. You know, I'm glad of the Damascus road that I have. Mine happened not too awful many years ago, 2007. Did I hate anybody? I don't remember me hating anybody, but was I hateful? Oh, yeah. Was I deceived? Oh, yeah. Did I serve divers' lusts and pleasures? Oh, yeah. Was I sometimes foolish and disobedient? Oh, yeah. But you know what? I'm thankful for God's mercy. And I'm thankful for God's grace. If you're in here today and you listen to this, think back of when you was deceived. Maybe you're still, maybe you're still in deception right now. You know, that's what being deceived means. It means living in deception. Something to think about. Just ask Jesus inside. He'll take care of all of the other stuff. He'll take care of all the other problems. You know, this sort of is a reminder to me. For we ourselves also were sometimes foolish, disobedient, deceived, serving divers' lust and pleasures, living in malice and envy, hateful, and hating one another. But after the kindness and love of God our Savior toward man appeared, thank God, the Lord appeared unto this man named Saul. He's willing to appear to you as well. I hope that you let him let him in.